Well, it is Woo Wednesday. Additional thoughts. Raekwon's album, only built for Cuban links. And I have to admit that sometimes when I sit down to do these videos, additional thoughts, <clears throat> there are albums where I go in my mind, this is kind of like a pointless video to make because the album is so good and it's been around for so long that there's definitely the feeling of Captain Obvious <laughs> for me in my current position. You know, how do you make a video talking about how good an album is when it's been excellent for almost 30 years and everybody knows it and people leaving comments talking about how they think it's probably one of the best hip hop albums of all time ever. But it's pretty easy to agree with those opinions when I see the comments because, uh, you know, these Wu-Tang guys, I think they got it figured out. I think people should keep an eye out, should keep an ear to the ground and check out these these uh, Wu-Tang guys. Pretty fucking good. <laughs> I've got a couple notes. Let's see. What do I got? Um, uh, Started with my car. I was kind of had a different experience with the album than normal. Usually I'll do my Friday reaction and then I'll listen to it like, you know, I'll listen to an album two, maybe three times on that Friday. And then Saturday I'll listen to it. Sunday I'll listen to it. And I'll kind of ease off going into the week. Had some stuff going on this weekend. So I, I think I got one listen, maybe one additional listen on Friday. I don't think I listened to it on Saturday at all. And then like Sunday evening, I put it on. I was like, oh shit. After listening to a bunch of other shit, coming back to Cuban Links, put on, oh yeah, oh yeah. And you would think, well, of course, right? Because you know, I'd heard it twice. But it's weird how even if you put an album down for just a day and then come back, it, it sounds different. And then Monday, went to work, put it on, driving in the car. And I was like, this is fucking, I remember saying in the reaction, oh, I need to listen to this in my car. Like I want to just drive around and going to work, putting it on. And I was driving in thinking to myself, you know, this sounds good, but I need like, I need to get like bigger speakers. Like I need to get like, <laughs> I started thinking to myself, I need to like up my stereo system in my car. Because it's good, but I feel like my stereo system's holding this one back a little bit. And I laugh because I've never been a huge stereo system person. That's really, it's just not what I'm into. And my wife, like if I told her at all, oh, I want to like upgrade my stereo system. She'd just like roll her poor little eyes right out of her head <laughs> at the mention of her. Because I could tell in my mind, I would play out the conversation. But why? I mean, you've been listening to music for all this time. Why do you want it? How come now? Well, because Wu-Tang. <laughs> And it would just be this incredible, like, full circle for me because I remember being a teenager in high school in the 90s and never listening to Wu-Tang, but everywhere I go, see people wearing the Wu-Tang clothes and just all that shit, right? Those big-ass yellow Ws. Anyway, so that was fun. Just thinking about that and, and kind of laughing to myself of this is the first time after all this music I've really done, like wanted to upgrade my sound system and it was fucking Wu-Tang all along that would inspire me so <laughs> uh let's see favorite tracks let's check out favorite tracks really like Knowledge God really like Knowledge God Criminology 2 uh you know Incarcerated Scarface's Rainy Days those are Rainy Days is great you know he's going crazy he's changing I just I like I like the theme that's happening there Guillotine with that like cello or violin that's going on. Um, but what the favorites? I'm just, I can't just list all the ones I like, the favorites. Knowledge God for sure. Criminology for sure is a favorite. I like Wu Gambino's quite a bit. Uh, even Wisdom Body. I kind of like Wisdom Body. Well, that's a good one too. But I mean, the whole album, honestly, there's only a couple skips for me. I, I skip over Ice Cream. Um, I'm still, I, I saw some comments, people talking about, I can't believe Bob like missed the verse from Nos, you know, on uh, verbal intercourse. I still have a hard time with that weird verbal sample that's floating around in the track. I, d I don't, I, I've I gotten a little more used to it, but I'm just not, I'm not quite settled with it. And because of that, it distracts me. And because of that, I don't pay attention to what Nos is saying, which kind of brings me to another point that I had in the album in that lyrically, this album whooped my ass. Now, I did see some comments, people saying, don't worry so much about trying to determine a story throughout the album. Each song is more of its own story. And I, I get that for sure. I can, I can pick up on the themes that exist with each song. There's some really cool ones. Um, 
But lyrically, I'm just laughing at my note talking about Jake's being cops while I was thinking it was Jake, you know, brake for the Jake's meant <laughs> engine braking systems for semis, which I'll get into that a little bit later. But, <laughs> you know, lyrically, it, this was a fun experience for me in the sense that this is 95, so it's way back. But it's also when hip hop, you know, hip hop is evolving substantially from the 80s. But I also feel like because these guys put so much emphasis on being the MC and good vocal performance and good flow and good rhyming structures and all that kind of shit, I feel like there's still a solid foundation of those mechanics at play here. And it's it's almost like it's almost like this little just echo. You know, it's when you go back and listen to stuff from the 90s, whether it's hip hop or it's metal or whatever, it, it, it does sound just a little bit different from the stuff of today or even 10 years ago or whatever. But it's, it just feels like, even though it feels like 90s, it also feels like there's still a link that goes further back, which is cool. I like that. And this is why I like going back to these older albums and exploring them. I want to go even further back. I want to get into the 80s too. But back to my original point, which I'm surprised I even remember it. Lyrically, this one whooped my ass. It was very difficult. Even now with, with additional listens as I'm going through it, like there's lines I can pick out that are great, but then other stuff is just blowing right over my head. And it reminds me, there was a conversation that happened in Discord, I don't know, it was like a week ago, or maybe a little bit longer. I wasn't online when it happened. I kind of skimmed through it. And the general idea was, you know, there was one person talking about how I treat hip hop like a music genre and I don't really acknowledge the fact that it's also a bit, it's its own culture as well. And I acknowledge and understand that. And I feel like this album is a great example for me of that fact. Like, yes, I can listen to hip hop and enjoy it. And I, I really do enjoy it now. But sometimes you get into these albums where there's, there's this just, it's all a completely different language. And that language is derived from a completely different culture, at least a culture that's different from me, obviously. And sometimes I'm just like, when you get dropped into these albums where it's just, that is like the heart and soul of what's happening. I am reminded of, yeah, I, I exist over here. And, and that's all there is to it. And that's not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. It's just, it is what it is, you know? I feel happy in the sense that when I first started this channel, I had the idea of, okay, cool, you know, maybe if I listen to hip hop enough and, and, and get into it and understand it, I can understand what it's like to be a black person in this country. And I've learned enough to realize that is absolutely never going to happen, which I think is a good thing. Because now when I think back on that idea, I find it a bit cringeworthy. Nice intention, but still a little cringeworthy, in my opinion. And so I don't really know, I don't really have a point to all this other than to say, it's just, it is what it is, you know? And it makes me wonder sometimes, will I ever feel like a hip hop head? I don't know. You know, it's, it's kind of wild to come into an album after I've been listening to over a hundred hip hop albums for over two years. And still I'll drop into a bunch of language essentially and just not fucking understand <laughs> because I'm so far outside of the culture. There you go, it is what it is, you know? Uh, saw some comments about today's mathematics, so I kind of understand that, you know, the 5% nation. Well, I don't, I can, okay, I don't understand that, but okay, that's what that is type of thing, right? That's like another example of culture, I suppose. RZA, killing it with production. That is the note I have written down. Just everything it needs to be. You know, and I remember saying this with uh, Black Star, that album, I believe The Roots as well. Loving the production where it's doing exactly what it needs to be. Nothing more, nothing less. It's not trying to like overtake the song. It's not trying to compensate for something. It's just this great foundation for great rapping to be on top of. It's fucking great. Phenomenal. Uh, lots of mentions for the for the sequel to this album, Cupid Links 2. I would like to get to that. Actually, well, no, I will get to it. I just don't know when I'll get to it. But absolutely. I think as I keep moving through the Wu-Tang, uh, what's another one? Supreme Clientele is one. There's been a bunch that have been listed off to me that I got to listen to. But as I move around through the Wu-Tang, I will definitely come back to the sequel for this album because, of course, and people have said, some people have said, maybe they're crazy. <laughs> some people have said they like that one more than this one. 
which is saying something because a lot of people have said this one is the best of all time, which is saying something. Be you guys get it, right? <laughs> Some fucking amazing hip hop albums out there. It's been a lot of fun to go through this. Saw one comment. Oh, what was it? What was it? Something about I love that Bob goes back and listens to the old ones still, too. And it's like, yes, yes, I want to. This this year has been a lot of fun for me in that checking out new releases in real time. I feel like that's been a benefit to the channel. I'm seeing some growth in the channel because of it. So it's a good thing. I still though feel it's very important for me to continue a journey through hip hop. It's, it's important to know where all these sounds and all these inspirations, samples, all that kind of shit, where it all came from, you know? And hip hop is really fascinating in that you can really hear it evolve quickly. Rock, in my opinion, doesn't do that as quickly. There is evolution, there is change, but it just doesn't seem to be as fast. It's almost more experimental veins that break off rather than a general evolution of sound. And maybe it's because they're limited to the instruments. I don't know. I don't know. There you go. Fantastic. I mean, it's, it is fantastic. These Wu-Tang guys, they, they, they know what's going on. People really should pay attention to the Wu-Tang. <laughs> Uh, I don't have anything going on tomorrow. Friday will be Smino's Love for Rent album. We had a community event in Discord a week or two back. Uh, there's some people that run these events, and the winner gets to pick an album, so that was the album that was chosen. So that's what I'll be doing Friday. For those of you who are wondering about Utopia, that's coming up very soon. Yes, I will be act reacting to Utopia on the 28th. Assuming it's dropping. It sounds like everybody's assuming it's dropping, but... Every now and then I see someone saying, oh, well, it wasn't officially announced, but from what I saw, it's officially announced. Anyway, there you go. Uh, you guys take care, and we will see you on Friday.